even here you're starting to come forward a little early, like you're coming forward with the hips and that chest is coming back. That's why the knees, think about knees staying like right about here and the hips come through tall, chest stays over the bar longer. Cause you're really shooting those hips forward and the heels are popping off the floor here and that's putting it, putting it forward unless you could save a little bit more on the finish. If we go like right, let's go. Right there's the, your foot. You're still hopping forward just a little bit. You gotta finish a little bit longer to those heels. So stay on the heels longer and finish to the heels more. Elbows up a little bit more out of the bottom. Butt back a little more on the dip, just a little more butt back on the dip because everything's sort of going forward here. So you watch that hair, you can see you're forward about three inches here on the drive. Okay. And that chest never fully comes through. Your your footwork's not bad, actually. Front foot maybe could come through a little more, but that chest has to really come through. I So I would just say a little longer on that jerk drive. This position, though, off the floor is good. It's just you've got to stay here, and the hips come through while the knees hold. It's a, it's a hard principle to think, but it's going to help you stay over that bar a little bit better. Uh-oh, my potato is boiling. Gotta, there we go. So stay over the bar a little better with the chest. And the hip, the hips come through from the hamstrings. Less quad load here, so the knees stay under the bar a little bit better. And then here on the finish, longer, 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 catch tighter. But then on this dip, you've got to think butt back a little bit more over the heels and then drive super long so that that head... So that your head can punch through in the split. Just a little forward on you. 